So at some point you started playing the violin. Yes, at four years old, right. I mean, so classical music was kind of a religion. Um, the, going to the concert was like going to services. You had to go to concerts. Uh, and the investment in classical music of this community was really deep, but so was it in Boston and Cincinnati. I've looked into their newspapers doing my research, and, and so it was in Berlin and Vienna and, and Kiev. Um, the Jews bought into classical music as part of modernity, as part of um, uh, being um, upwardly mobile uh, culturally, having cultural capital of, of uh, identifying with the establishment that protected them in the Austrian Empire in Germany, uh, if one can remember that period, when, um, uh, as opposed to the street hooligans and the anti-Semitic uh, crowds. Um, Detroit was not different. Uh, Detroit was the most anti-Semitic city in America. Henry Ford was spewing hatred in the 1920s and paying for the publication of the Protocols of the Elder of Zion. Uh, Father Coughlin, the radio priest, listened to by millions of people across America, was rapidly anti-Semitic and nobody stopped him, uh, and uh, so forth. Um, you had the Michigan Legion, which is kind of a local clan. Um, so the Jews, uh, it's not surprising, and I've seen, you can read this in the sociology, that they lived in an enclave uh, because they felt more comfortable uh, being kind of huddled together in a certain kind of way. Um, and classical music was one of the ways that they performed um, civic identity and cultural identity. Um, so they supported classical music in every possible way. Um, the Music Study Club starts with a bunch of Jewish ladies in the 1920s directly on the model of the Tuesday Music Cal, which had been started by non-Jewish ladies in the 1880s. Uh, and um, that meant that they patronized child prodigies, uh, many of whom became important American musicians, concert masters, soloists, uh, coming through Detroit. So it was a producer of um, really serious concert artists. Uh, you know, Ruth Meckler Laredo, uh, Seymour Lipkin, I mean, starting the earlier generations and going, going on through. Um, a lot of these kids uh, were uh, using the public schools, which were very supportive of classical music, but there was an entire parallel Jewish structure of support system.